be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be giving you three tips you can use to make your own trap loops in Logic Pro 10. Three tips you can use to make your own trap loops in Logic Pro 10. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Now today's uh, first step is going to be to use a software instrument track and under instrument, we can come on over here to Alchemy, okay? Um, before we actually even get into creating here, the first tip is always gonna be to keep things simple. So, especially with trap music, you know, uh, a lot of trap uh, melodies are actually very simple. This is about making sure it sounds catchy and, s and selecting the right sound. So, coming over here, um, some stuff that you would, you know, use in trap music, you wanna just kinda, first of all, you do your own marketing research. By this time, you should kinda already know what type of sounds are in trap music, but bells, synths, pads, and um, even arpeggiators, those are kind of like those four type of instruments that you'll be using. Let's look into, uh, you know, getting some type of uh, bell here just to start this pattern off. So we have all of these different sounds. Um, let's find, let's see some, let's do this firefly, see what that sounds like. Okay, so picking the right sound is going to be the most important, one of the most important things here. I'm going to start with this uh, sound right here. Uh, second thing I want to talk about is um, that you want to use minor um, scales and minor pattern uh, chords in your um, in your loop. So we talk about half steps and whole steps and stuff like that. From C to C sharp, that's a half step. And then from C to D, that's a whole step. So if you look at half steps, you're looking at one, two, three, okay? So you start at the root note. And this guy right here is three half steps. Then if you keep on going up, one, two, three, four, that's four half steps after that. You could also do half steps or whole steps and say, oh, okay, one, two whole steps, one half, you know, things like that. But for the most part, you want to keep that in mind. It's three half steps, and then from the other note is four half steps, okay? And so you could do this with any, um, pretty much any key. So let's just try that out. Let's just click randomly. Just go up three half steps. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So anyway, that's just a real quick step when it comes to, or tip when it comes to creating your chords real quick. Um, you wanna make sure they're minor, you wanna keep things simple. So let's go ahead and start off with a basic pattern here for our loop. For this particular uh, demonstration, I'm actually gonna chop this one up and just do some chords. So I'm gonna keep this right here and we're just gonna copy and paste. Let's use Command R to uh, extend these out here. Now, what you want to do is add some type of variation. So, at some point, I'm gonna, you know, move a note up or down here.
right, bet. So now that we have that going, the step, second step or, or tip I'm going to give you um, is to layer. And I guess this is actually the third tip technically because the first tip I said was to keep it simple. The second tip I said was to actually use minor chords and scales. And then the third tip is going to be to layer. So, yeah, we'll just keep it at that. Um, we'll layer this. And layering is simple. You just push Command D to double this. And literally, we're going to use the same pattern but change the sound. Okay, so we have those three tips, keeping it simple, using minor uh, chords and scales, and then layering. So from that, what you could do now is start to build your beat, just using those three tips, simplicity, minor scales and chords, and layering. So now that that's uh, understood, we can just go ahead and start adding new pieces to this uh, loop. So I'm going to go ahead and go with some type of a lead sound, kind of a We'll go with a soft. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and play around with uh, another sound, adding that to here. Go ahead and cop, uh, not copyright, go ahead and <laughs> quantize that. And I'm going to just go ahead and layer. Command D to double. We'll pick a different sound here. Another thing you can do here is add some like more live sounding instruments. So once you have like your synthy sounds and stuff, you can come over here and add like a guitar, a bass, a piano. So you want to kind of throw that in the mix too. I'm going to look for a basic piano, uh, more so like the grand piano. I'm going to throw that in the mix real quick. And actually what I think I'm going to do here is I'm just going to follow this pattern, but you kind of use different notes. So let me turn this down. By the way, I'm moving these notes up and down just by holding option, holding down option and pushing the up or down arrows.
we'll keep it simple. Just do that. And for the most part, this loop is pretty solid. It's ready, pretty much ready to go. Um, again, y'all, just to kind of go back over this, the three tips that I use here with simplicity, using major and minor chords, and then layering. So make sure that you're using those to make your trap loops or whatever. Hopefully that helps you. If it did, make sure you go ahead and leave it in the comment section and also smash that like button, okay? So there's three things also before you end the video that you could do for this 100% free that will help out the channel and also help you out. So first thing is to get subscribed to the channel if you're not already subscribed. The second thing is gonna be to leave a comment and the third is to hit that like button, okay? So these are free things that you can do just to support the channel or whatever, man. Please do that if you like the video. Also, if you don't mind, you know, and if you really want f more, uh, you know, instruction and training on music production, go ahead and go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. It's going to be the number one place uh, for you to, you know, grab a course or a kit or a template that's going to really help you to jump, start your career or go to the next level. All right. Beatmakingbasics.com. Appreciate y'all watching and I will see you in the next video. This is going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make your own drum patterns, your own melodies, how to arrange your beats into song format, as well as mix your music like a pro, all in Logic Pro 10. And best of all, there's several bonus videos that's going to show you how to make beats in different genres and for TV and film. So this sounds like something that you would like to learn how to do. Go ahead and click through and get enrolled now, and I'll see you on the other side.